It was a normal day. We were all just online, watching videos, sending stuff to family. I tried to send another photo of my sheep to my dad, and I was tweaking my pancake code, making sure the recipe was just right. And I was loading the FIFA site, but just as the page finished loading, everything started glitching. It felt like the whole internet was crashing. That's because when code breaks, the world can't talk. No messages, no games, no maps, everything stops working, and that's exactly why I'm here. Welcome to Captain Gasser World. I'm Captain Gasser and you've been pulled in because the digital world is glitching and it needs your help. A virus we call the core bug is spreading trouble everywhere it goes. It feeds on broken systems, bad logic, corrupted code and disconnected networks. Is this why my photo vanished and the FIFA site crashed? Correct. The code that connects our world is scrambled. HTML, CSS, JavaScript and GPS. Even logic systems are down, but together we'll fix it, and each system we restore is a battle one. So let's follow that packet. When you send something online, it's split into small digital pieces called packets. Each one travels through the internet highways using protocols like TCP, IP, and HTTP. Like puzzle pieces with addresses? Exactly. But now, those packets are getting lost. Look! That one is supposed to go to Alexandria, but it's bouncing all over. We have to fix the route, but how? By repairing the logic, so the packets follow the right paths. Start with the address protocol. Resetting IP path and now rerouting through Cairo server. And I'm redirecting lost packets using HTTP rules. Almost there. Let's look at how we fix it. First, we assign an address, like setting a destination. This IP address tells the packet where it's going. The destination helps the server know which machine to send it to. Then, this code checks if the packet's destination is right, send it. That's how we keep the traffic flowing in the right direction. And with the right logic in place, the packets are moving again. Oh no! Now the web looks like a broken stadium. That's no accident. The core bug has moved to the web stadium. Time for battle 2. The web stadium is where websites are built. Think of it like the construction zone of the internet. But now, everything is collapsing. It's like HTML skeletons with no skin. Buttons everywhere, but nothing works. Even the guardians of the web stadium are falling behind. Ronaldo, the master of structure, is watching his HTML collapse. Messi, the king of style, can't get any CSS to load. And Salah's JavaScript isn't triggering anything. Wait, that's my birthday card. It's stuck in a broken tag. CSS is gone and the animation won't trigger. Let's take a closer look at what's inside. Here's the birthday card's HTML. This is the div element. The div tag creates a container, a box on the page. The class card part gives this container the name card so we can style or script it specifically. Inside the div, the text, happy birthday, Ali is what will show on the page. Then, Messi fixes the style with this CSS. This card block applies styles to anything with the class name card. The animation bounce part tells the browser to play the bounce animation on the card, lasting two seconds and repeating forever. And the background part sets the card's background color as a gradient, going from yellow on the left to orange on the right. And font size makes the text inside the card twice the default size. Finally, Salah adds this JavaScript. This line uses document query selector to find the first element with the class name card. Next, add event listener tells the computer to wait for a click event on that card element. And inside the event listener function, alert shows a pop-up celebration message with that text whenever the card is clicked. 
So this code makes the card respond to clicks by displaying the birthday message in an alert box. Captain Gasser, the code is ready to run. Ronaldo, Messi, Salah, take the field. Ronaldo is placing the HTML and the card skeleton is forming again. Messi is styling it. Colors and animations are appearing now. And Salah is triggering the JavaScript and the card is finally reacting to clicks. Wow, Captain Gasser. They fixed it. My birthday card is transforming and animating again. Great work, team. The web layer is back and that's another battle won. But we're not finished yet. Something is still not right. Yes, Captain Gasser. My photo still isn't arriving. That's because the packets know where to go, but the internet doesn't know where you are. It must be GPS, the global positioning system. Exactly! The timing system is out of sync, so our next mission is in space. Over 30 satellites orbit Earth. Each one sends a timestamp. Your device uses four or more to know where you are using trilateration. So, if the timing is off, location gets messed up. Correct! Even a microsecond delay can throw data into the wrong city. That's why sometimes my location jumps from Cairo to Alexandria. Exactly. So now let's resync, align the clocks and restore satellite signal. Here is the code that gets us back on track. These four satellites send signals, we call them SAT1 through SAT4. Each one includes a timestamp and the distance to your device. The function trilaterate uses this info to figure out your location. But if the clocks are wrong, your position will be too. Captain Gasser, let's start the sync. I'm resyncing satellite time now. GPS is locking in. It's working, Captain Gasser. My photo is finally delivered. But now the core bug is angry, twisting deeper into bad logic, broken loops, and corrupted decisions. Let's stop it with Python, one of the world's most powerful programming languages. Absolutely! It's fast, clear, and solves complex problems with just a few lines. We will outcode the bug with logic and precision. Let's debug this monster. On it! I'm writing a function to trap its errors. That means creating a block of code that watches for mistakes and handles them so the program doesn't crash. And I'm running a loop that repeats a set of instructions. So if the bug tries to crash the system over and over, we catch it fast. And I just got the return value. That's the result the code gives back after running. I'm sending the update now. Perfect timing. Let's compile the code right now. This is my function catch, bugs, a name block of instructions we can reuse anytime. The try part tells the computer, run this code, but be careful, it might cause an error. And if an error happens, the exit part catches it so the whole program doesn't crash, and we can handle the problem gracefully. This is my loop. It repeats a task multiple times. It tells the computer, do the next action five times, counting from zero to four. Here, it calls check bug status five times to keep checking if the bug is still causing problems, so we can react quickly. And here's my function, fix bugs return statement. It sends back a value after running. Return world stable means the program finished successfully and sends a message confirming everything is working again. This return value helps other parts of the program know the fix worked. And that's the power of live code. Function, loop, return. Together, they won't just block the bug, they will defeat it. Captain Gasser, run the code now. We did it! The code bug is gone and deleted, and the digital world is stable again thanks to your logic, your code, your courage, and most of all, your teamwork. So just like how HTML gives structure to the web and CSS brings that structure to life with style, JavaScript adds the interactivity that makes it all come alive. And behind the scenes, GPS and networks keep the data flowing, guiding it with precision. And at the heart of it all, Python ties everything together, managing, controlling, and ensuring that all the parts work in harmony. The internet isn't magic, it's logic. It's built with code, and when we work together, we can fix anything. Excellent job, team. You've just completed your first mission, but remember, the world of Captain Gasser is always expanding, and as long as we keep working together, there's no limit to what we can achieve. So gear up, team. Your next adventure is just around the corner. See you out there.